So yesterday was a very interesting day in terms of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies, and the reason is the scythe was accidentally released inside of Black Ops Cold War Zombies and then taken away. Bruh. Basically, when an update went live at the normal time, 10 a.m., the scythe was unlockable inside of Black Ops Cold War. You were able to do 15 games with getting melee kills while using Dead Silence, or you were able to do 200 insta-kills with a melee weapon inside of Zombies to unlock the scythe. Pretty standard, seemed pretty easy to unlock this melee weapon, but the problem was they didn't mean to release it. So they went in and they deleted the scythe from the game. However, because of this, some people already had the scythe. So other people were like, well, what the heck? Where the heck my scythe? And uh, yeah, you can imagine why this is a problem from Treyarch. And basically the whole scythe and that whole Ravenov bundle, the Ravenov part of the bundle seems like it was actually completely deleted from the files. It's never coming. All of this is obviously caused by the tragedy going on over in Ukraine currently. We've talked about this before. And the scythe apparently is still coming to the game and it was released today but then deleted. Now let's listen to what Treyarch had to say about this and go from there. They said the scythe melee weapon unlock challenges were unintentionally available for a short time on June 6, 2022 and then when they were removed in an update later that morning. Players who unlock the scythe prematurely will also know that they will no longer have access to it in loadouts at a later date. The unlock progress, basically you're going to keep the unlock progress if you were working towards it and it's basically going to make it so if you were inside of zombies, you were at 199 insta-kills with melees instead of 200, so you only need to get one more. Or if in multiplayer, you were at 14 of the 15 match completions. They now give a release date that says the scythe is currently scheduled to release later this year with timing subject to change. Make sure to follow Treyarch on Twitter for the latest news and update. Obviously, a lot of this is subject to change based on what's going on in Ukraine. Because of that tragedy going on over there, there's a good chance that the scythe does not release at all during the entirety of those happenings. So while some people were able to unlock the scythe, all of them should no longer have it. Of course, there will be people that can mod it into the game, so on and so forth but nobody should have been able to unlock the scythe at all and those who did should have it taken away from them which is a real shame because i was excited to try this thing out against order but we'll get to that when the scythe finally comes out let me know your guys thoughts in the comments below and i'll see you soon